into the right corner, played by Craig Miller. Miller lifts it back out to center. Nice pass out, Jake Kirby. Kirby in a possible breakaway. Down on that, backhands and scores! Across the line, Alexander. He stick handles, puts it on net, and they score! The Tigers able to tie it right back up at one. Into the Darien zone, thrown down on net, the empty netter, Jake Kirby, the hat trick. And this one's gonna be in the books. And the hats begin to hit the ice. For as much as a student section can let it rain hats, roughly five have come down. It's a 3-1 Darien lead. So now Greenwich can hopefully set up shop for their own sake in a 3-0 lead and they score! Brian Szilard with the most amazing athletic goal as he dove across, lifted it top shelf, and it's a 4-0 lead on a power play goal. Second one, no good. Can't fault Fairfield Prep for doing it. 48-46, 1-10 to go. Breaking through, Foley ties it up! Looking left, now looks down low, gets it to Meyer. Meyer left side of the blocks. Three coming, Brosco in and out and in. Looking to cut it at least to one, if not three, and they tie it. Brosco from the right side. English is 0 of 2 at the line and 0 of 3. She missed it. Inbounded with six. One point game, 55 54. Landy at her pocket pick with one to go. And English has got the ball. And the Wilton Warriors are going to play for the state championship. Welcome to HAN Radio's Behind the News, the show where three veteran Connecticut news editors go behind the stories with the columnists, photographers, reporters, and editors who covered them. Thanks, John. Well, Seymour police have arrested a man who they said tried to stab and kill both of his parents on Wednesday evening. Police say they have charged 36-year-old Good morning, and good morning to everyone watching. We start at Trumbull High School, where Bunnell punched their ticket to the Class L basketball final with an 80-79 win over Bassick in overtime. That among a number of postponements as we're under a winter weather advisory issued by the National Weather Service done by tomorrow morning partly sunny high in the low 40s no snow forecast Saturday or any time during the first week of spring though it will remain cold welcome back to your coffee break presented by Stratford Orthodontics on HAN radio and we're on video today for the first time here they're never probably gonna find her body there never will be a hundred percent closure for the family or her friends and this, though, is vindication. Um, so, Doug, what are you going to be working on with the kids this weekend in Ridgefield? Um, it's a, just a teaching seminar. Show them, you know, the basics of cartooning. Tell them a bit about what I do. Uh... And it's a little past 2 o'clock on HANradio.com. Welcome to Nutmeg Sports for this Monday. So let's jump on the phone and see who we have here at 246. Hi, you're on Nutmeg Sports. Career. Tell me what went right for you. What, what was going on with this team as you hit the floor on Saturday? I think just knowing that it was the last time that we were going to go out and step onto basketball court together, it definitely meant a lot to all of us. And You know, sometimes a team gives you a good vibe. They're just nice to deal with. This was a good group for the couple of games that we covered and really just a, a joy to watch them on the floor. Welcome to FCAC TV, where the best in Fairfield County high school sports calls home. Brought to you by two of Connecticut's most successful companies, Subway, Eat Fresh FCAC and Stu Leonard's, the world's largest dairy store founded right here in Fairfield County, the home of the FCAC. Welcome to FCAC TV, the official weekly sports show of the Fairfield County Interscholastic Athletic Conference. I'm Rob Adams, joined by Paul Silverfarb and Eric Gendron. And guys, this is your destination for all of the FCAC sports action from around the county with highlights, interviews, and analysis of Connecticut's premier athletic conference. As always, we ask our viewers to support the FCAC and the fine work they do to support the student-athletes and the member schools. Also, don't forget to check FCAC.net regularly for scores and highlights. So let's get started. Eric, Paul, we had a busy weekend at Engels Rink. For sure, we saw some great hockey. Absolutely. Great FCAC teams facing off in the Division I championship game between Darien and Greenwich. Darien coming away with their historic 
championship, their first in 46 years, as they knocked off Greenwich one to nothing, with the game-winning goal coming from Jack Pardew. Paul, an exciting weekend for sure. Uh, whether it was at Ingalls Rink or whether it was at Bohegan Sun Arena for basketball, this was a lot of fun for pretty much everybody involved. I mean, it was a great time and a great time in the FCAC, that's for sure. A lot of winners around the county. Wilton girls winning a basketball championship. St. Joe's girls winning a championship as well. And, uh, I mean, what more can we say? Darien was terrific. Greenwich, of course, coming up with just a hair short, but it was a great weekend for FCAC athletics. A great run for the Wilton girls, a dramatic finish over Mercy, and then coming away with a great win in the championship game at Mohegan Sun. A great core of girls led that team all the way to the title game. So congratulations to all the winners. As we continue on, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back with more of FC Act TV. Hey, I'm Leo Carl from Carl Chevrolet in New Canaan. Today we're here to check out the Chevy Volt. The Volt's the world's first extended range electric vehicle. It's very technically advanced. The Volt was designed with a lithium ion battery that allows you to drive about 40 miles a day using no gas at all. And then if you're driving further than that, a gas generator starts to produce electricity and allows you to drive as far as you want. We'd love to see you here at Carl Chevrolet. Stop in for your own personal test drive and we'd be happy to put together a personalized quote on a purchase or lease of a Volt. Welcome back to FC Act TV. I'm Rob Adams with Paul Silverfarb and Eric Gendron. Paul, let's take a look at the spring season. We had a busy year last year, of course, baseball, lacrosse, softball. We saw it all. We saw Fairfield Ward with a championship, and we saw a lot of lacrosse as well down at Jack Hassa Grand Stadium. And we'll see if we crown a new champion on the diamond this year as yep. well. So it'll be a busy season, of course, heading out to the ballpark at Harbor Yard. Exciting times in the spring, and Eric, we love it. We're going to be hitting some golf balls as well. Absolutely. You know, it just seems so far away still, but uh, we're creeping up on the baseball, golf, lacrosse, softball season. Can't wait to see it all and get it underway in the FCAC. Always exciting. And of course, with the warm weather, it makes us all so happy. And, and also, we want to tell you that Booms Day is coming. Now, what do we mean by that? You know in the movie Dodgeball, a true underdog story, that we learn that the five rules of dodgeball are dodge, dip, dive, duck, and of course, Dodge. The FCAC's first annual Dodgeball Tournament is coming up May 30th. Dodgeball Tournament. How cool is that? Awesome. Very awesome. Looking forward to that. That'll be exciting. Absolutely. Gotta love a good game of Dodgeball. This will be an amazingly fun event benefiting the FCAC. The 18-team tournament will culminate in the championship round in the Trampoline Octagon. Will ESPN 8, the Ocho, be there? They don't need to be there. HAN Radio and the Hearst Maycorn Network will be there covering all the action. It's a bold move, Cotton. <laughs> I like it. Well played indeed. We will all talk like pirates when we get to there. Arg. Arg, indeed. That's it for today. We'll see you next week here on FC Act TV as we talk to Dave Stewart, and he'll run down what to expect in the spring season. Thanks for watching FC Act TV. For Paul Silverfarb and Eric Gendron, I'm Rob Adams. So long, everyone.